We have been running a lot, more short distances than long, but I do have a long running session today. Because of that, with the sprinting that I've been doing, whew, the bottom of my feet are very tight. Before I do this long run, I'm gonna make sure that I use the Trigger Point 8 Ball to roll out my feet. I love this thing. I think that this trumps the rock mat when it comes to pressure. I do love the rock mat in the morning just to wake up my feet. I usually do it when I'm making my coffee in the morning. I have the rock mats pretty much everywhere. I have them all over my kitchen and then in the bathroom too. I just always am walking around on the rock mats. But when it comes to more pressure, I definitely like the Trigger Point 8 ball. And then I usually couple it or sandwich add it with the toe spacers. This just separates my toes because socks, as you can see, bring your toes together, which isn't always great for your foot. I try to as much as possible at home, go barefoot and then use the toe spacers. Right now, adding my toe spacers on and you can already see the difference. Look at the difference. Wild. Adding my other side on. And y'all, when you do this, make sure that you're really pushing the little humps between the toes all the way down. Before I do this run, I'm gonna take this ball and apply some pressure. We got Bella coming our way. Well, come on, you can come to the show. Come on. She's my emotional support. And then Winston's following her. Here you go, Winston. Need a baby. Ow, bite my face. I'm trying to put him on his back as much as possible so that he likes it when he's older. I feel like most of the time he doesn't mind it unless he's like in a zoomies kind of day. But we like it. All right, all right. <laughs> Enough of that. Anyway, so I'll spend about one to two minutes per side, so not a ton of time but just enough to wake up my feet before I run. 